Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do a mini love reading for the Taurus, um, or is it the Taurus? Yep, it's going to be the Taurus. Um, I'm just going to do a quick mini reading for the month of May 2016. Um, stay tuned to this channel and subscribe because I am going to put up a full reading um, later on next week for the month of May. Um, so this is just a a really um <clears throat> a really fast mini reading okay um so i'm just gonna go ahead and look at the past so this is gonna be a past present future all right so we're gonna look at energies um that are still affecting you from the past what you need to take from the past and use to your advantage today um also what's going on for you presently okay what are the opportunities and challenges that are currently being presented to you. <clears throat> um, also the future, which is the third card, which is the outcome, as well as what you are manifesting and what you want, okay? All right, Taurus, just give me one second. Okay, so I'm going to do <clears throat> past, alright, so you got this death card, so I can see, Taurus, that there was a recent transformation, some sort of rite of passage, some sort of test that you were put through, and it, it was meant to change your life and put it in a different direction, okay, so it looks like from this card, um, there's some positive transformation some cleansing that you've been doing um of the past it looks like there may have been a love interest or maybe someone who you were involved with that you just broke up with in the past um whatever the case is the decision that you made sets the tone for the rest of your life um it's definitely had a major impact whatever it was um obviously the death card has a lot of meaning um and it can be scary for a lot of people whenever they get the death card in their reading, but it's not a scary thing. Um, now, for some of you, it could indicate that you re that you lost someone in the past um, to death, of course. Um, it could indicate that you have been having um, some sort of secret love affair, okay? Or maybe you discovered a secret in the past, okay? Now, I can see, Taurus, that you are now going through a new beginning. So, that's the second major arcana. Whatever that situation was, it's caused you to explore yourself more. Um, you did a lot of introspection. Sorry, guys. I can't get this card right. <laughs> so, there was some introspection that was done. There was um, connection to the energy of the universe. Um, right now, you're undergoing a new beginning in, in, in your life and in your love life. If you're single, um, this card can indicate that you're um, to make sure that you don't come across as bitter. Okay, make sure that you maintain the, the childlike quality about, of you, about yourself. Um, now, I can see that whoever is currently the love interest in your life is not ready for a commitment or either you're not ready for a commitment. Okay, so this is a time to just have fun, love life, okay? And don't let your desire, you know, overshadow the fun. Like, you want the real, you know what I'm saying? You want the real, de the real... You want real deep, true love, and it should come your way getting this card, especially, you know, this is a total new beginning, a new start over. So for your future card, you did get the lover. So you got three major arcana cards. So let me just tell you about this card. Not only is it um, about 
relationships, okay? This is about a lot of uh, sexual, um, you know, a lot of uh, mental energy with the lover's card. A lot of times it can represent duality, um, you choosing one over the other. Now, it can show that in the in the future there's a powerful rebonding that's going to happen with the old love, okay? So... For some of you Tauruses, there may be someone that you had in the past that's going to come back. Um, and you're going to have to make a choice. Okay, some of you are in relationships and you're glowing. People, I mean, you even look like your partner. Some of you are going to meet your twin flame in the month of May with this card coming up. So this is major. And your twin flame is definitely going to bring the spirit or the energy of the fool. Okay. If you look at the picture, there's a woman. She's standing there. She has a choice to go to different places. Uh, one is less friendly, which is this one over here. Because they're already walking away from her. She's definitely looking at them. Um, but then you've got a warm, loving person with a child standing there. And so, um, you know, they're going down under. And there's a choice to go, you know, towards the horizon. And they're kind of going off into the woods. So the point of this is making some sort of major decision in your life. And you're going to choose <clears throat> your path in the month of May. Okay. Um, and also it can mean um, some sort of marriage. Maybe leaving an old situation behind. Uh, maybe some, you know, an old path. So you and your... Um, significant other looks like you're going to take the high road is basically what this means okay um if you want a more personalized reading contact me on my website <clears throat> thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for your full reading that's come up for may that's coming up for may and make sure you thumbs up this video thanks a lot for watching Bye bye